Hey YouTube family, this is Francie with Finding Joy and I'm sitting in traffic so I thought I would um, just start a video talk about some stuff. Um, so it is Tuesday. Tomorrow we don't have any students. I mentioned that before so I'm looking forward to tomorrow and getting a lot of stuff done. And so today after school I went to the doctor. I finally have health insurance. <clears throat> Ever since a certain president became president, um, my health insurance has been horrible. Um, I have been without it for several years, on and off. I'll have it, and then I don't have it. And then even when I have it, I can't afford any of the procedures I need done. And so, yeah, that's... Uh, typically, presidents don't usually affect me, but uh, that one did, and ever since it has. But I've got insurance now, and it's really the <clears throat> school district I work for. They actually pay for the premium for me, and I don't have to insure anybody else. So for me, it's, it's great. So um, I went to the doctor to, as a new patient. I'm trying to get established with the doctor and get things taken care of, get my health the priority. And it was $25 which I thought it might be free because of well visit, but anyway, it was only 25. So, you know, just a lot of stuff because you have to tell them everything about yourself. So a lot, it was a long visit. And so, and I really didn't see the doctor. I saw the, her assistant. But from there, um, I, obviously I'll go get blood work done. Hopefully, I don't have to go to some special place. They have an appointment at one place, but I need to make sure the insurance is going to cover that. And then, so I'll go get blood work done and go back in four weeks to discuss the blood work. And then, um, oh, different blood pressure medication because what I'm taking gives me too many headaches and stuff. Anyway, so we're going to try something else. So they're calling that in. And what else? Oh, I'm going to blood work and then I'm going to have an MRI on my ankle to see if there's anything torn on that one side that I heard about a year ago, over a year ago. Make sure nothing's torn on that. That I'll probably wait until January and I have the money. I'm not sure how much that will cost because, you know, you're deductible. And so whatever it costs, I have to pay all of it. And then, of course, to have a colonoscopy. In 1,000 feet, turn right, then turn right. All of that as well. So that I'll put off till January at the start of the year. So, and then, to, you know, add it for one year's deductible. What else am I going to have done? Oh, the, of course, the mammogram. That shouldn't cost anything at all. So, turn right onto 5th Street sorry, East. I've got my GPS. Turn right onto 57th Avenue, drive east. Yeah, I've got my GPS on. So, hang on. Okay, turn the GPS off. So, um, yeah. So, go have the mammogram and get all that done. The colonoscopy is because um, I've had them in the past. I think I've had two first one they found they took polyps out which that's not uncommon guys um, they took polyps out and they found precancerous cells so basically they want you to have one done more often than every 10 years or whatever it is I don't even know but I'm getting old and when you get old you gotta have all this stuff done all right so but those will be put off until um, January and then I think that's all I have to do. Oh, bone density. Yeah. I don't know about that either. I've had that done before, though. But I just feel I'm glad I have insurance where I can go ahead and try to get this stuff taken care of that needs to be taken care of. Another thing I have to do is my glasses. I haven't had glasses in forever and ever and ever. But um, she gave me this thing about... Um, this fatty liver. I have fatty liver disease. I was diagnosed with that back in uh, 2008. And at that time, I bought this lady's book. It wasn't this book. It was another book. The Liver Cleanse book. And I can't find it. I know I didn't get rid of it, but I can't find it. Um, but she has this book. And I, I have two copies of this one. 
Um, but it gives the same stuff about how to eat. All right. So she gave me something about a doctor that's doing some research on the li fatty liver. So um, I guess I'm going to go, and because, here's the thing, they'll do a scan of your liver, so that's free, because they're doing it for research. So I'm gonna go have the scan done. Doesn't mean I'm going to participate in the study, because here's what I don't like. They say they have a drug that will help fatty liver, I'm not sure about that. I don't know why they don't just have people tell people to eat healthy. Because that's what's going to change a fatty liver. Because I've done it. I went on this liver diet and it helped. I just, my life got in the way or something and I couldn't stick with it. So anyway, a lot of stuff today with my health situation. So trying to get my health back. I am planning on changing my eating habits but not like today um i didn't i mean like for lunch i had ham with cream cheese and um some cheese so i i trying to cut carbs out but i have fried rice for dinner and um that's what i'm gonna eat i don't want to throw all that out just because today i decided oh i'm gonna try and eat not eat carbs anymore no um so it will be a gradual switch and probably by hopefully by the first of january I can make the switch. I'm having blood work done, I think um, the 25th, next Wednesday. So that will give me a baseline and I will eat um, as healthy as I can with the food that I have. Like I said, I'm not gonna get throw food out. I'm gonna use the food I have and gradually just incorporate. Not, I think the big thing for me is getting rid of carbs. It's not adding fruits and vegetables because I do that. It's um, getting rid of the carbs. That is huge. So that's got to be a transition. All right. So I'm going to go in, let my dogs out. I'm sure they are ready because it's after five. Wow. And um, eat my fried rice. It's already, I just have to heat it up. So that's really nice. And eventually, I hope I can... Um, reverse my fatty liver that's that's you can but you have to eat healthy you have to be really strict and in doing so of course i'll lose weight and everything so all right i will talk to you guys later y'all be blessed and oh yeah like last night i crocheted a hat and another little bean bag it's like a mini not bean bag it's like a mini drawstring bag yeah woohoo all from one skein i got the mini drawstring bag and a hat so I'll probably do try another hat tonight just because I don't know I have to sit and not do anything so I can't sit and not do anything so I crochet all right we'll talk to you all later I hope you find enjoy today um, can you share something with me if something happened today that brought you joy that would bring me joy too I hope I hope you've been finding joy and I hope you're finding blessings and I appreciate you all. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate you watching my videos and you know, to me, it's not really about um, getting thousands of people on your channel. You know, that would be, that would be neat. It'd be cool, but it's a lot of responsibility too. And um, it makes the community really big. And right now, the community is small enough. I'm getting to know some of you. Some of us are um, texting each other and we've gotten to know each other. I'm hoping to meet some of you soon. And so I just think it's pretty cool that we can establish this little community of people that are encouraging each other and finding joy. So once again, I'm going to say goodbye <laughs> and y'all be blessed. And um, I'll talk to you before Thanksgiving. I hope you have good Thanksgiving plans, whatever they are. And, but I'll be back before Thanksgiving. So talk to you later. Water is right up close to the edge of this sidewalk. Kind of scary. Get my solar light sticking out. 
not sure why this is flooded so much. And then my roof carrier is now floating. Oops, sorry. It's still really windy. But the street doesn't sound flooded. It's just kind of <gasps> My cat just tried to go out. You silly cat. It's, you can't walk on land. <laughs> oh my goodness. He tried to jump in that water and didn't realize it was all full of water and there's no land. Oh, this is crazy Florida, I suppose. I need to take my dogs out front because they can't go back here. Wow. Maybe I'll get some better footage in the morning. I just pray it does not come in the house.